Okay. Here you have planned the mission. In the given figure, P, Q, R, H is a rhombus. P, Q, R, H is a rhombus. Rhombus means all sides are equal, but diagonals are not equal. If the equation of diagonal Q is, question has given you the equation of diagonal Q is, 5x minus 7y plus 2y equals to 0. At the coordinate of the point PR, coordinate of the point PR, 2 comma minus 3. Now you have to find the equation of another diagonal, PR. You have to find the equation of diagonal PR. Now, it's easy as well. I'm going to do this in two different ways. Whichever way you feel easy, you can do it the same way. First, yeah. Uh, you have been given that PQRS is a rhombus. Fine. Now, you also have been given equation of diagonal QS equals to 5x minus 7y plus 12 equals to 0. Equation of diagonal QS is 5x minus 7y plus 12 equals to 0. Now, QS and PR are two diagonals that intersect by making an angle of 90 degree. And also, the diagonals of rhombus bisect each other. It means that we can say that QS is a perpendicular bisector of the line PR. So, the diagonals of rhombus bisect each other making an angle of 90 degree. So we can say that, uh, we can also say that PR is perpendicular to SQ. This line and this line are perpendicular to each other. Now you can find slope of a diagonal QS. We just found the relationship between this line and this line. Now we are, we are going to find the slope of diagonal QS. We will call it M1. Your formula is minus coefficient of x over coefficient of y. Coefficient of x is 5 and coefficient of y is 7. Minus coefficient of x by coefficient of y. Here the coefficient of y is minus 7. So it will be 5 by 7. So it is the diagonal of QS. Now we can also find slope of diagonal PQ. We call it M2. Since the line are perpendicular, we can obtain M2 by minus 1 by M1. It's simply the same way. When two lines are perpendicular, then the product of the slope is minus 1. If you have M1, then we can find M2 as minus 1 over M1. Just like the way I did here. So it will be minus 1 by 5 by 7. On further solving, it will get here minus 7 by 5. This is the slope of the end of the line. So the end of the line means slope of the line PR. Now we have the slope of the line PR. We also have the passing point P2 comma minus 3. So we can find the equation of the line PR. PQ. Equation of the line PQ whose slope is minus 7 by 5 and the passing point is P2 comma minus 3 as now how will you find you have the slope of the line also you have the passing point also the way is y minus y1 equals to m2 x minus x1 or y minus what is y1 here x1 y1 so minus minus gives you a plus and what is the m2 here minus 7 by 5 x minus what is the x1 here 2 once you solve it we got plus 1 by 5y, 5 3s are 15, equal to minus 7x, minus minus is plus 7, 2 is so 14. So when you get this minus 7x, it will change to plus 7x, plus 5y, 15 minus 14 is plus 1 equals to 0. This is the required equation. This is one way to solve. I am also going to solve it in the other way as well. First, see this. Not that difficult. PQ is the rhombus. All sides are equal, but diagonals are not equal. And the diagonals of rhombus bisect each other perpendicularly. Now, 
So we have found the slope of the diagonal is QS, uh, simply by coefficient of x, by coefficient of y, minus coefficient of x, by coefficient of y, so 5 by 7. The lines are perpendicular, so m2 will be obtained as minus 1 over m1, so we get here m2. Now, for the equation, we have been told to find the equation of the line P, uh, okay, sorry. We have been told to find the equation of the line PR. So we have got the slope of the PR here. We got the slope of the PR that is minus 7 by 5. We also have the passing point P to the minus 3. And to support the value, this equation is used when you have slope and the passing point. So slope here is M2 and the passing point is X1, Y1. The support the value and you'll get your answer. This is one of the way. Now you can do this in the other way also. The next way to solve it. Here, equation of diagonal QS is 5x minus 7y plus 2y equals to 0. Now, what we know is any line whose equation is ax plus by plus c1 equal to 0, and the another line which is perpendicular to this line has the equation bx minus ay plus c2 equals to 0. Here, one of the one is the line of the equation ax plus by plus c1 equal to 0. So, your line is perpendicular to the equation bx minus ay plus c2 equal to 0. Just see here. Get this a here, x as it is, get this b here, y as it is, and change the sign. If here is minus, it changes to plus. So, Again, if you have any equation like ax minus by plus c1 equals to 0, then the line perpendicular to this equation will be bx. Put this b here. This minus n is to plus a here, b, y plus c2 equals to 0. We don't know what happens to this one. But this will be as it is. So here will be ay. Simple, right? So equation of the line uh, equation of the Diagonal QS is given as 5x minus 7y plus 2 equal to 0. So, the equation of the diagonal, we have been told to find the diagonal PR is, bring the 7 here, 7x minus n is to plus 5 here, y is equal to x plus c2 equals to 0. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now, equation 2 passes through. Equation 2 passes through 2 comma minus 3. So we put x equals to 2 and uh, sorry, it's y here and y equals to minus 3 in equation 2. So we we'll get here, then we get 7 times 2 plus 5 into minus 3 plus c2 equals to 0. 7 to the 14, 5 to the 15, plus the minus is minus, c2 equals to 0. And we get here c2 as 1. Therefore, required equation equals to is 7x plus 5y and the value of c2 1 equals to 0. This is how we solve the answer. But you should know the pattern. See. If you have equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and you are finding the another equation which is perpendicular to this equation then you have to get this b here x same change the sign a here y same now we don't know what will happen to this c2 so this is how i have written this one so this was for today and i'm going to give you homework later hope that you will do that